morning, Andrew. President Biden has been in the Middle East after 36 hours in Israel, just holding a press conference in Jerusalem with the caretaker prime minister of Israel. His broad strategy has been to promote stability in the Middle East, but the backdrop of high global energy prices has been looming over this trip. There have been focuses on his travels to Saudi Arabia later this week and meetings with Gulf producers there. But in Israel, the focus has been squarely on Iran, which analysts have suggested could add up to one million barrels per day day of oil to the market if some sort of nuclear agreement is reached. Israel's prime minister this morning said adversaries of the Jewish state can only be met with a credible military threat. But President Biden said force should only be used as a last resort. And he has continually supported a return to the 2015 nuclear deal. But with talks stalled there since March, he was asked how long the U.S. is willing to see that strategy play out. We've laid out for the people, for, for, for the leadership of Iran, what we're willing to accept in order to get back into JCPOA. We're waiting for the response. When that recur, when that will come, I'm not certain, but we are not going to wait forever. Prime Minister Lapid, in a later answer, denied that there was that significant divide between the two allies' positions toward Tehran. But he said the two allies would work in close consultation on any agreement going forward. Andrew. Okay. Kayla, thank you for that report. Uh, we'll be keeping our eyes, of course, on this big trip.